sometimes through sheer familiarity, we can become immune to the true wonder of the American experiment. This week, we celebrate the 241st anniversary of the founding of the United States of America, an event unprecedented in world history and one whose ideals remain influential even to this very day. For the first time, a nation was founded that balanced the democratic will of the people with individual protections from government intervention. The people would be their own rulers, but they would be prohibited from depriving their fellow citizens of life, liberty, and property through the mechanism of government. Our founders had seen how unstable and dangerous to individual liberty radical democracy could be. They saw one of its most sorrowful expressions in the bloodbath of the French Revolution, which took place around the time of the ratification of our Constitution. And they also had seen how monarchy could result in tyranny as the iron hand of the king came down on the colonies. In recognizing the biblical value of God-given freedom, as well as the biblical teaching on the inherent sinfulness of human beings, they divided government power, instituting a series of protective checks and balances designed to keep one branch of government from becoming too powerful. Of course, over the centuries, there have been abuses. Runaway courts have ignored constitutional provisions to our detriment. We, the people, have too easily accepted government encroachment into areas in which it was never intended to have authority. But for all of that, the American form of government, including the world's longest active national constitution, remains the envy of the world. For that, we can thank Almighty God and the brilliant men who declared this week, 241 years ago, that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, and that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.